Skim I'm here and I am going to share with you what to eat if you are trying the keto diet. I am doing the keto diet with Dr. Boz. It's a four week session and I found that all the research that I've done about diet and nutrition, um, they always tell you like, oh, if this percentage of carbohydrates and this percentage of protein and this percentage of fats, but nobody ever actually shows you the food and what to eat. So I decided that for the next four or five weeks, I'm gonna actually show you what I'm eating. So I just got back from the store and here's what I bought. Keep in mind, I don't eat processed food, I do not eat sugar, and I can't eat dairy. I try to eat a high fat diet um, with vegetables and very low sugar, so no fruits. Uh, so here we go, here's what I got from the grocery store today. Pickles, they don't have sugar in them, and I made sure that they were made, I make sure all my food is made in America. Bumblebee tuna, which is also canned in America, good source of protein and fat, omega-3s, and an easy snack to grab. This is a carbohydrate, this is a protein and a fat. Onions, I like to add some of those, those are a carbohydrate. Um, butter, so one thing that Dr. Boz says is that when you start the keto diet, you wanna think about eating a lot of fat, and she says, she recommends that you, to get it in your mind about how to eat fat, that you eat a stick of butter. Now that sounds totally weird, but what you'll learn from eating a stick of butter is that as you eat the butter, you will become full and your body will say, I don't need any more. And that's what happens when you eat a high fat diet. You don't do this thing where you're like hungry, tired, hungry, tired. You just have an easy stream of energy as your body starts to burn fat as opposed to insulin. So more about that later. I know it's crazy, but it's a good way to get it in your mind that fat is good, really good, very beneficial for your organs and your body, okay? So butter, I buy the unsalted kind because that means that it's not um, being preserved. Salt is in your butter to preserve it. Olives, same thing, make sure they're from California and that there's no extra added stuff in the can of olives. Um, lemons, if you're gonna have a juice or something in your water, lemons are something that are um, acceptable to use. You can also use them in your avocados to make uh, guacamole, which is delicious. Eggs. It's so easy to fry up an egg. A good friend of mine, Michelle Tellis, suggested putting tuna fish in your eggs and you will be amazed. It is so delicious. So eggs on hand and I always boil them also to have hard boiled on eggs on hand. So if you get hungry, you've got something you can go to. All this stuff is delicious too. I buy um, really the fattiest ground beef. I make sure that it's high quality. This is Oregon country beef. I have this on hand. I can always throw a burger in the pan, six minutes each side. Uh, salted pan, you got hamburgers. And you can leave them in your fridge and eat them later. That's that. What else do we have here? Um, I got some lettuce, because this is a little bit of my carbohydrate. I have a low amount of carbohydrate, but that's my lettuce. Lettuce. Uh, nuts. I like walnuts and pecans. I buy these from the baking section. This brand is made in America. I think they've been around since the 1800s. So this is good, yummy nuts, American from home. No yeast need to buy stuff that's traveled across the ocean when we have perfectly good soil here. Olive oil, keep olive oil on hand. This comes in handy to make things like baked kale, which is a delicious snack. Um, and I use a lot of spices, rosemary, oregano. It's always good to have your spices on hand. Salt, salt, salt. Um, Here's some sauerkraut. I'm not sure if that's on the diet, but this again, this is made in California in a brinery in California. It doesn't have any sugar or weird stuff in it. It's just sauerkraut, cabbage, and salt. Cheese for my children. Like I said, I can't eat dairy because I have tummy trouble, but if you can eat dairy, it's an excellent source of fat. And if you do, make sure that you use the dairy that is high in fat, heavy whipping cream in your coffee and, your, and anything else if you can. Um, uh, the higher the fat content, the better. Skim milk has more sugar in it. So no skim milk, skim milk out, heavy cream in. <laughs> That's that big. Then I've got some kale here. I love kale. You can bake kale in the oven. There's a recipe on skimum.com and it is a delicious snack. It's like eating chips. It's satiating and salty and yummy and delicious. I love baked kale. Good in eggs. 
celery. I'm making a roast right now in the oven, so, and of course, I do my best to buy organic if I can. I shop at the Newport Market because I feel like the produce is the best quality there um, for a grocery store. A lot of it is local. Um, cabbage, also very good in eggs. You can cook it in butter or even in your bacon, leftover bacon grease. Cabbage is awesome. So it'll have lots of fat in it. Avocados. These are a go-to snack when you get them at the store. If they're not ripe, you can stick them in a paper bag with a lemon and they will ripen up. Always have avocados on hand. If you're hungry, like I said, grab an avocado, good fat. That's that bag, and that's it for now. One other thing that I also love to have on hand is steak. I'm, I love steak. Bacon, I always love to have bacon on hand. Um, this is, it's good, yummy, bacon is good, and keep the bacon grease because you can use it in other recipes um, to get more fat in your diet. Okay, so that's, here we go. I'm gonna just try to show you how I do it and show you the actual food. Nom, 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 nom. For healthy muscles, good digestive system, you want your gut working well so your toxins are flushing out. I'm so excited to learn so much more with Dr. Boz and just try to help you with this practical side. <gasps> Schema out. Hi, Schema I'm here. It is likely that you have seen this before, but I have a trick for eating vegetables. So whenever you get home from the grocery store, have a sink that is cleaned out. I have this one sink that's designated for my vegetables and drinking water. Turn on cold water, fill the sink, take your vegetables and you trim the ends off and you put them in the sink of water. So like this kale, I'm going to trim the ends off of this. And then you rinse off the leaves and you stick them in your sink of water so that they can soak and they're, they're getting clean and cleaning them off. And you're kind of bringing them back to life. That makes them last much longer. So if you, are, if you make a conscious effort to, to shop at a grocery store that you like, that you feel has good quality food, like Newport Market, that's where I like to shop, I think their food is quality, then you can do this and your food will, your veggies will last. Like this head of cabbage will last like three weeks. It's crazy, which hopefully it won't, because hopefully I'll eat it. Anyway, I cut all the ends off, my lettuce too, and I stick them in the veggie sink, just like so, so they're ready to go. There we go. Get those in there, get them all rinsed off, rinse the leaves. And then, when I put them, ah, sorry, then when I put them in my veggie drawer, in my refrigerator, they're ready to go. So when it's time for me to pack my lunch or grab a quick snack, it's easy because my vegetables are already cleaned. Okay, hope that's a helpful tip. Next, I line my, um, hey, there's my face. Hi, next I line my veggie drawer with paper towels. Just like so, here, here's the veggie drawer. I just line it with paper towels like this. Okay, and I've let my, I've taken my veggies out of the sink and let a little bit of the water drain off. And it's great because it gives you a good opportunity to clean your countertops. And I just let the water drain into the sink. Um, so there now, it's all fresh and lined with paper towels. Every once in a while, I clean my veggie drawer out with rubbing alcohol just to make sure it's sanitized. So now it's all clean and now I can just take my beautiful freshly soaked veggies and just stick them in here just like so. Some celery, it's all clean and ready to go. Stick that right in there and then that's great too because your kids learn how to grab stuff out of the fridge as well. It's really important to teach your kids how to eat. Got some romaine lettuce or what is this? Red leaf lettuce? Some red leaf lettuce, put that right there. Now your little teenage daughter can go, I'm gonna have a salad and make a salad. Head of iceberg here and a cabbage. Just stick those in there. Now later tonight when I get peckish, well later this afternoon when I get peckish, I want a snack, I can pull the kale out of there and, and make some baked kale chips. Or if I'm going skiing on the mountain, I could just grab a handful of lettuce and put it with a hamburger and I'm good to go. More tips coming up. Nuts. Bigger, bigger, mini, mini, money, more, and flower. Oh, show.
Sardines. 